Hey people, it's me Tristan and in this video I will be painting up a British Highlander for the Muskets and Tomahawks game. The model is from Perry Miniatures and I start off with the elf skin tone. This is because I want to get a really bright and pale skin. That is because I want it to be different from the Woodland Indian's darkish reddish skin tone. Again, I use the flesh tone shade. I've really grown into this flesh wash and I suggest getting it because it's giving really good results. So, as you can see, I maybe put too much, so you can always go back with your brush and take some of the washes off. As always, the washing technique is so that once you have base coated your model, you will wash it and then once the wash is dry, you go back with the same base color to highlight it up again. This is a really good technique and this helps you get some uh, shades and good looking tabletop miniatures fast and easy. So the final layer of skin is pale flesh from Vallejo and it's this really pure pale flesh tone and this is the final highlight that really makes these models different from the Woodland Indians and that's exactly what I was after. Unfortunately it's a bit too bright and you may not see all the highlights but they are there. We go on now to the uniform and I start off with blood red base coat. I usually start off with darker reds but this time I wanted to try out more of the washing method. And the wash I'm using is Cotted Arm Superwash Light Brown. And light brown is good for reds because it's this really dark, deep and red brown tone. And I use it both for red and I also use it for leather. And once you, uh, the wash is dried, I go back with the red again to highlight it up. Actually this uh, works out pretty fine, especially if you have uh, models like these Highlanders that have a lot going on around the red, so you don't really need to make the red insanely deep or have much shades. If you would have a uh, like full red coat, then you should probably work more on the reds, but as I said before, if your model has a lot going on, you might not want to get too crazy with different paints because it could make the model a bit too busy. I'm doing so many layers of red because I've mixed my red with water. Not uh, so much that it would pool but just enough so you could do thin layers of red onto the model. This way it'll offer you another chance to shade. Now we go on to the kilt and this I had to try out on a test model before I got it right. So as you can see on the left side of the screen the picture has the kilt uh, and it really looks like this mix of a deep blue and green. So uh, how I go about doing this is I use turquoise and this is a base coat for all of the parts both the kilt and also all those uh, trims on the uniform. What really makes this work is actually the wash I'll be giving it. But turquoise on itself is al already this has these qualities of green, uh, like a slight mixture of green and blue and it's a really good color all around for the effect I'm trying to achieve. And the wash is from Citadel and it's the Bieltan Green or Bieltan Green, however you pronounce it. And it's this really good deep greenish bluish wash. And I give the whole turquoise base coated areas a pretty deep wash. And uh, you can see right away that it gives this really good 
green tone to all of those parts but still it keeps some of the blue and afterwards you will see that it will actually change colors so actually the way I'm painting this model is with the idea in mind that I'm painting three models at the same time so that's how I usually paint these days that I take three models and paint them at the same time so because I use a lot of washes I have time to work on the next model one, while the other ones are drying this is uh, a technique I'm using on almost all of the models now this is the time that the colors on the kilt will start to play you see that I'm using imperial blue and once I pull the stripes on the kilt it changes color you can see that it turns into this into a lot more cold color as a uh, opposing the warm red I'm pretty satisfied how this actually looks uh, there are a lot of good tutorials on YouTube how you can paint the pattern on the kilt but uh, I'm keeping it simple the main thing I noticed when painting these is that uh, only the horizontal stripes are actually important they are the ones that give the look of the pattern the ones that are uh, vertical, these are actually not that important because you can see that the cloth uh, tightens up in the top part of the model. So you actually, your the stripes will run together anyways. So a good way to make it look good is just keep the horizontal line straight. This is just my way of painting tartan patterns there's a really good vid from trojan art painting he has a tutorial on how to paint tartan patterns a link to that video is down in the description box and also on the screen and as a final step i'm just gonna give the hat a black wash and then brighten it up again with the imperial blue and i'll just keep it uh, that way because i don't want to overdo it and that's how far we've got today. I'm really enjoying painting these Highlanders. Anyways, thank you for watching, keep it safe, and I will talk to you in the next one.